Hello, my name is Tridar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Roman arch in Minecraft. Let's get started. So first, let's take a look at the Roman archway. As you can see, it is my version of the Arch of Constantine with the, the three arches with the large arch in the middle and two on either side. And what I'm going to be covering in this tutorial is this main archway here. The side monuments and the statues, these are all separate tutorials that I have already produced. One for the soldier, the equestrian statue, the eagle, and the column here. So I'm not going to be covering that again in this tutorial. I'm only going to be doing the main archway here because I'm going to leave it up to you to decorate the top of this. Uh, however you please to have it. Maybe you don't want the, the side statues, but you do want the archway. But maybe you only want the archway and you don't want the statues. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, it is made primarily of diorite, cobblestone, stone bricks, and chiseled stone bricks here. These are chiseled stone bricks in my texture pack, not, not lodestones. And it is, of course, done in the Corinthian composite order with the, the columns here and the entablature. And on the top here, there is a central space for a nameplate. If you want to have the banners that have letters on them, there are enough rows here for you to be able to place several banners. So in this section, you can write whatever you want to on your own triumphal archway. All right, so let's take a look at the build and materials you will need to construct this fine Roman edifice. You will need 3,383 blocks of diorite, 7,757 blocks of cobblestone, 3,054 stone bricks, 436 cobblestone stairs, 1,316 stone brick stairs, and 326 chiseled stone bricks. Not too bad. So let us now begin the tutorial itself. So aside from the foundation here, right here, all the next phases I will be showing you will be going up in two blocks. So each slice I show you will be another phase of two blocks. So uh, bear that in mind. So we're going to be building this layer by layer from the bottom all the way to the top. So uh, let us lay out our foundation here. So we need to build some cobblestone pads and they will be six by 15 blocks, six blocks wide and 15 blocks back that way. Then skip five blocks and build another pad of six by 15. Then skip 13 blocks and build yet one more pad of six by 15 and skip five last blocks and build the fourth pad of six by 15 until you have that there. So this is going to be the footprint of your uh, monument, which uh, I forgot to give you the overall dimensions. So let me take a look at that. Uh, the overall dimensions for this is, of course, going to be 15 by 47 by 47, 47 blocks wide and 47 blocks tall. This does not include the statues on the top. That's probably another uh, 20 or 20 or so blocks. So bear that in mind. And now let's return to the phases here. So we're going up two blocks, like I said. And on the top of your cobblestone pads, you want to wrap around stone bricks, uh, stairs, and behind that, layer in some a diorite like that there. And do all four of those exactly the same. So let's go up two more blocks. You're putting on another layer of diorite and another layer of upside down stone bricks. Uh, this you did here, just flip it on its top and set it uh, there. And do all four of those exactly the same way. So over here, we are building out the lowest bases for the columns. And you are doing that with a cobblestone and stone brick stairs arranged in these patterns here. It's a little different on the inside where the archway is. And you want to build those out like that here. And of course, this uh, archway, by the way, is symmetrical around the center line. Like if you draw a center line through here, what you build over here, you're going to be mirroring that 
on this side of the center line over uh, there. And the back of this is also identical to the front, by the way. So as we go, I'm only going to show you the front. But bear in mind, you just build all of that again on the back. All right, go up to more blocks. We have the lowest part of our columns here again, building out the bases of upside down and right side up cobblestone stairs stacked on top of each other. And we have alternating cobblestone and stone bricks here. This is also stone bricks. My texture pack randomizes these textures, but these are both stone bricks, so don't let that throw you. And of course, the, the back is the same as the front here. And here is the, the inside there. And over here as well. So let's go up to blocks. We're building the lowest part of the diorite columns that you saw. And we're doing that here. We are alternating our cobblestone like that there and our stone bricks on top of those there. As you see, these are alternating layers. And we're doing that so the wall just doesn't look completely flat, although it is completely flat. We're changing up the texture with the blocks so that we can get a little more uh, runway out of uh, the space that we have. All right, let's go up to more blocks. We are building a bit more of the dar right column here. And on the outside here, we are putting a string course, which is a line of upside down stone brick stairs right there. And back here as well on the inside also at this level wrapping, wrapping around like that there. Uh, but not, not on the inside here. This is our large archway, so we're not doing that just yet. We will be doing that again, but higher up. So the next phase, we are extending our diorite columns up here. And on, let's go look at the outside first. So we are back to our, our alternating layers of stone bricks and cobblestone. And on the back here, we are putting in the lowest parts of the uh, archway made out of diorite. And I think you can clearly see how to do that there. Remember, we're leaving three blocks of gap in between those. And it's still playing on the inside here. All right, two more blocks on the outside here. We're alternating our cobblestone and stone bricks again. Continuing the diorite up. It's a plain still on the main archway, but over here we are finishing off the smaller archway. And as you can see, you wanna leave a block of gap here. And behind that, we are putting in just cobblestone on top of that. So our archway should uh, be capped off there, and that should be the end of the, the small archway. So both of those should be finished on either side of your archway. And we'll go up two more blocks. On the outside here, we are putting on another string course, upside down uh, stone brick stairs, just like you did down here. Uh, do that again. And uh, here's the, the back here. And on the inside here, you can see we are doing another string course, but this time uh, higher up, like I said we would do. And you're doing this on top of this archway here. You're just uh, wrapping it around like that, skipping the distance for the column here, and then, then wrap it around like that there. And on top of that, you're putting on a layer of uh, diorite all the way around on the inside there. And of course, underneath here, this is now filled in with cobblestone. And do both sides the same, and we will go up two more blocks. You are putting in another layer of stone bricks, and then a bit more diorite here. Uh, but not, not over here, because we are building out frames that is going to go around the uh, chiseled stone bricks. You see done there. Uh, but over here, we are starting the lowest layers of the archway for our main arch. And they are two blocks wide, and you want to leave a gap of five blocks in between those, and just make that uh, stone bricks inside there.
All right, let's go up to blocks. We are starting to build the capitals on our columns here. We are using now our chiseled stone bricks back here. And as I go along, just uh, pause and rebuild what you see on your screen because I am showing you every block you need to build, but already pre-placed so that I can deliver to you the maximum amount of information in a reasonable amount of time. Here is our archway. We've gone up three blocks, but now we're going over one block there and filling in the back here with cobblestone. This is just a larger version of the smaller arch we did down there, but we are building out the, the central arch here. All right, let's go up two more blocks. We are building a bit, a bit more of the capitals of the Corinthian columns here. I think you can clearly see what we are doing there. We've got a simple frame of diorite around our chiseled stone bricks. And the same along the back here. And here is our archway. It is now... Going, we're going three, then two, and then one there at this level. And let's go up another level where we are finishing off the capitals of our Corinthian columns here with the, the, the uh, canthus leaves. I mean, you know, this is Minecraft, so we have to use uh, stairs to represent a, a lot of things. In this case, you have to use your imagination, and these are finely carved acanthus leaves. So here is the, the back there, and we are finishing now the archway. So I will trace out the entire thing. So it's three blocks, and then two, then one, and then two, and then three again. And it's really five, but this part right here, this will be the center line that I talked about uh, way over there. Going through here, so this would be the part that uh, if you had a keystone, you would be placing it at that block there. All right, so let's go up two more blocks. Now that we have finished our capitals, the next thing, of course, we put on top of that is going to be the entablature. And this is uh, done by putting upside down cobble stairs and then right side up stone brick stairs on top of those in the patterns that you see here. Remember to let your uh, acanthus leaves go over an, an additional block. They need to overhang the bottom of the entablature just a little bit. Then, like so, I think you can probably see it better over here. We are leaving a little ledge, by the way, back here, like that there, which I suppose this, this should probably be stone bricks, now that I think about it. You can correct that when uh, you are building this in your own world. And, of course, we finished the archway, so under here, it's done with the same uh, cobblestone ceiling that we did for the smaller ones. So let's go on to the next phase over here, and this is a very easy phase. On top of the stone brick stairs that you did, just two blocks tall of diorite, following this pattern here all the way around the monument. And you can see little, little stone bricks here to represent the, um, I mean cobble, to represent the center line. Right. There, I don't think that requires any more explanation. On top of that, we are finishing off our entablature by using some more chiseled stone bricks, and we are alternating those with uh, upside down cobblestone stairs to represent the dentils. Like this here. And of course you are overhanging your stone brick stairs like you see on the corners here all the way around like that there. All right, so on top of that, now that we have built an entablature, if we were building a temple, we would be building a roof right now at this face here, now that we finished the, the cornice. But because this is an archway, we have to keep, uh, we have to keep going up. So one block behind your, your cornice here, you want to put cobblestone, and then behind that, you want to put uh, stone brick stairs, like you see arranged here. At this point, you should be following the, the pattern that you already built. 
to show you that uh, from the top down there. We will go on to the next phase. So we are putting on not not exactly columns again, but they're sort of meant to meant to uh, echo that down here with the die right here. But behind that, you're layering in cobblestone, and we're doing some more frames of uh, die right up here, like what we did down here with this. We're going to be doing again, but smaller up here with the die right here. And of course, we have our central frame here where you can hang your banners if you want to uh, put your name on your own triumphal monument. Uh, I think if you do put your name on your own triumphal monument, that's got to be uh, in the top 10 signs of delusions of grandeur. Now, but I don't blame you after I built one of these. I mean, I do have my name on one of these in my own world anyway. So, let's go up uh, two more blocks here. We are building out the frames with some more chiseled stone bricks and cobblestone on the sides here. And along the front and along the, the central plate here. All right, that's pretty simple. And this is also simple. We are doing... We are uh, closing out these frames here with uh, diorite and cobble on the side here as well. And the central nameplate is now finished, and it, hit, it is edged out with uh, chiseled stone bricks there. So in here, you can hang your banners and uh, write on your monument whatever you wish to have. So on top of those, we are putting on a sort of it's uh, it's another entablature, kind of, but it's uh, more simplified. And we're doing that with the upside down cobblestone stairs and right side up stone brick stairs. I think it's just exactly the same as we did down here for this, but you want to follow the lines up here that you've already established with the cobble and diorite. Like so. So let's go up two more blocks. So on top of that, you just put another band of diorite uh, that's similar to the band of diorite that we did down here, but this is only one block thick. And on top of that, you're putting on a final cornice of upside down stone brick stairs arranged like that here. And that roughly corresponds to, to what we did down here. Right, and on top of that, once you have done all of that, you then want to place a layer of cobblestone. Just set it back, one block back, on all the corners from the upside down uh, stone brick stairs. And then in the middle here, you then want to put a ring of cobblestone and fill in the middle with diorite. And this is going to be the pad up here for you to build some sculptures on. And of course, as I've said, I already have several tutorials detailing uh, many examples of sculptures that you can use to decorate these as you see fit. The one I showed you at the example at the beginning is, is only an example of what you might choose to put up here. However, some of you uh, might like to have uh, nothing up there, so that is completely acceptable also. And of course, once you have done that, your Roman triumphal monument will be complete. So I hope you had fun building the Roman Triumphal Archway. Remember, the world here is available for download in the video description in case anything I showed you is unclear and you want to come here and take a look at all these phases for yourself. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.